Hey guys, this is Michael Tarallo from Click. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to create your first app utilizing ClickSense Desktop. Once you have installed ClickSense Desktop, start the program by selecting the ClickSense Desktop shortcut icon from the Windows Program menu or use the shortcut on your desktop. You will see a welcome screen and be taken to the default main screen known as the Desktop Hub. The Desktop Hub is where you create, organize, and view your ClickSense apps. Note that your view of installed ClickSense apps may vary from what is shown. Let's close the Welcome panel and create a new app. On the upper right, click Create New App. In the input box, enter My Sales Report to name your app and click Create. After the app is created, click Open. Note that each app requires data to be loaded into it before you can create your visualizations. You can do this by using the Quick Data Load Interface or the Data Load Editor. Note that the Quick Data Load Interface can be accessed from the menu above. This allows you to navigate your file system to select file-based data such as Excel, CSV, and other delimited and fixed-length text files. Let's browse to the location where you copied the sample Excel file to. Select Getting Started Data.xls and click Select. This will bring you to the data definition screen where you can select your Excel sheet names or table names that have been defined in your Excel sheets. You can also select, deselect, and rename fields and configure the appropriate settings for your file. The default sheet, Sales Data, is already selected. Next, click Load Data. This will load data into the app. You will receive a confirmation message that the data has been loaded and that a new sheet has been created. Click Edit Sheet to go to the design interface. In the design interface, this is where you create your visualizations, assemble text and images, and add filters for selections. Note that a complete overview of this interface and other parts of ClickSense Desktop is available in this series and will not be covered in this exercise. Let's add a visualization object. Drag the bar chart object over to the blank canvas on the right. Attempt to fill the whole area by following the highlight. A bar chart placeholder will fill the area selected. Note the dimension and measure buttons in the center. These buttons simply add measures, numerical components, and dimensions, textual components, to chart objects. Note you can also drag and drop additional measures and dimensions from the master library, when defined, and field list panels if desired. Let's add dimensions and measures. Click the Add Dimension button and select Country from the list. Click Add Measure. In the search box, type Sales. Select Sales and select the aggregation Sum Sales. The bar chart displays with the selected dimension and measure. Note here we have a comparison view of sales by country. We can clearly see that Germany is our top performer with respect to sales, while Norway is far behind. If we click Done in the toolbar above, we can perform various interactive operations on the chart. If you resize the desktop program, you will notice that the chart responds to the form factor, adjusting the data and view appropriately. Now let's adjust some chart properties. Use the orange resize handles to adjust the bar chart so it fits in the upper left corner as shown. In the property panel on the right, enter total sales in the input box for the measures label property. Change the number formatting option to money. Select the appearance tab and then the presentation sub tab. Select horizontal. In the upper left of the chart marked, click to add title. Click the title area to inline edit. Enter in the text, Top Countries by Sales. Now let's add a text object displaying total sales. Drag the text and image object next to the bar chart in the highlighted area. Double click the object to enter the text insertion mode. Enter the text, Total Sales. Add an additional space after sales. Switch to the fields list panel on the left. Locate the Sales field and drag it over to the text object. From the list, select Add as Measure, Sum. Under the Number Formatting, select Money. Now click the numeric value in the text box. It will convert it to a formula symbol. Click it again to select it. It will highlight it in blue. Let's change the font color to blue using the color palette. Now position and size the object as shown. Now let's add a selection filter. 
Filter objects allow us to select and search all possible excluded individual and alternative values for your dimensions. In the field list panel on the left, locate category name. Drag over to upper left corner as shown. The object should populate with all unique product category values. Click the title category name and inline edit to show category. Let's now add a tree map visualization. Switch to the charts panel and drag over the tree map as shown. Click in the area, click to add title and inline edit with sales by country, category and city. Click add dimension and select country. Click add measure and select sales and then some sales for the aggregation. Switch to the field panel on the left and drag category name and drop it on top of the tree map. Select add category name. Let's repeat this by dragging and dropping city and then adding city to the tree map. Your app should look like this. Let's click the save and then the done button. You can now perform selections and interact with the app. Your new application will be available as a QVF file in the user's documents directory. In this state, as a QVF file, it is now ready to be imported into the ClickSense server using the ClickSense Management Console and its import facility found under the App section. This completes the introductory ClickSense desktop exercise. For more information, please visit the ClickSense community for other videos, exercises, and samples and tutorials.